Hi guys, this is Ellery here, and I'm going to give you a quick example of my premise control home with Cortana app. So it's using Windows 10 Cortana to control basically anything you can think of in your house once you set up some free home automation server software on a Windows PC. So we're going to go ahead and go up to the kitchen so you can see the kitchen light is on so we're going to go ahead and turn that off. Hey Cortana, control home, turn off the kitchen light. Performing task. Kitchen light is off. And so you see the kitchen lights went off. So then you turn them back on here. We're going to set the brightness. Control home, set the kitchen brightness to 99%. So you'll see the brightness change here. Performing task. Kitchen brightness is 99%. And then we're going to change the brightness. And we're going to ask it, what is the brightness here? Control home, what is the kitchen brightness? Performing task. Kitchen brightness is 72%. So that's enough of that example, but you can see the, the two-way feedback, and also the command string is not order dependent. I don't really have time to demonstrate all that because I'm trying to keep the video short, but you can say lamp or light or not even say light or lamp in this, my module actually interpret your talking about a light when you say the word brightness. So, or when you tell it to dim lights or, or dim things, etc. So we'll go here, show you how it works with Cody real quick to conclude the video. So you see a media zone here, so nothing's playing right now. And so this was in the master bedroom. So we're going to go ahead and have Cody play some media content in the master bedroom. Control Home, play movie, Farscape, The Peacekeeper Wars, and The Master Bedroom. Performing task. Movie Farscape, The Peacekeeper Wars, is playing in the master bedroom. And so you noticed here that the, the media is actually playing right now. You, of course, you heard it in the background. And that you also got two-way feedback, again, from the home automation server through the Cortana interface, which is real nice because you could have Cody running in full screen and, and say the magic words, hey, Cortana, hands-free. And it would actually pop up an overlay over the Cody interface, which is pretty cool. Of course, you'd also see your taskbar. So you may not want to have all this junk down there stuck to your taskbar for appearances, but... You get the idea. So if you guys want to see the techie details of how all this is working in the back end, you can check out tutorial number nine on my YouTube channel. I'll post the link down below in the description. Hey guys, thanks for watching.